from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Transmission and distribution services provider OptiPower Projects, which was recently acquired by Murray and Roberts, is progressing with its work on the Golden Valley wind farm in the Eastern Cape. Tesnimbal Bulia tells us more. Construction of the wind farm is currently underway, with the turbines being installed and electrical work being done. OptiPower Substation's operations manager Kevin Swart outlines the project. It's a biotherm development. Uh, Goldwind is the EPC. It's a 120 megawatt plant, 48 2.5 megawatt Goldwind turbines, including a 6.7 kilometer 132 kV overhead line and a substation consisting of two ATMVA bays. OptiPower senior project manager Jaco Combrick details OptiPower's contribution to the project. Uh, OptiPower basically got awarded the wind farm from Goldwind. Uh, Goldwind holds the EPC contract and we were awarded the electrical balance of plant under them. Uh, electrical balance of plant includes the overhead power line, the substation, all the reticulation works from the turbines to the substation as well as the, the termination points and then uh, we would do the com commissioning of the, the plant as well. The uh, project is progressing quite well. I'm happy with all the, the progress that we, we've achieved. Uh, we've got a strong team on site, as I said. Uh, we've built a reputation and the guys really pulled together. It's something new, it's a new challenge. And I think if you give new challenges to the right people, then they tend to make a success out of it. Combrick also expands on a challenge presented by the project. A big challenge on, on this particular site is the rocky environment. Um, it's difficult to trench in, uh, it's not a, a normal soft type of rock, so we had to employ blasting measures um, and we employed a, a special technology with rock saws to, to mitigate the conditions on site. Uh, so far it's looking good and we're successful in, in the mitigations. Notably, OptiPower is deploying new technology in executing the project. Combrick expands on this. We're basically always looking to improve in, in the way we do things, uh, our strategic approach. On this specific project, we opted to go for an automatic cable laying machine, which cuts back significantly on time because it automatically lays the cable and does the backfilling for you. Uh, and it trenches in front of the, the cable laying as well. OptiPower construction manager CP Duplessis outlines the company's progress on the project. We've got uh, four sections that we're busy or currently busy with. We've got um, the reticulation side, which is split into two, which is the MV reticulation, the LV reticulation. Then we've got the substation and the power line. The power line, we, we finished before target date, so that's done now. Um, and then we've got the, the substation, which is fairly on par, so, um, and it's continuing very, we're very well. And then we've got um, uh, the other two sections on the reticulation, um, which is a little bit behind, but we're catching up. We started a bit late, so, um, but we're catching up very well. Optic Power began its scope of work in April. The facility is expected to be completed in November 2020, and the company is confident that contractual completion dates will be met. Optic Power was recently acquired by Marianne Roberts' Power & Water Platform. Marianne Roberts, Power & Water Platform CEO Stefan Harrison details the rationale behind this. Marianne Roberts, uh, historically we've been involved, the platform that I run has been involved in Madupi and Kassili power stations, so we've been all involved in the mega power station builds. So um, obviously they're coming towards an end. And I think general power generation builds, um, there isn't going to be projects of that scale anymore. So about two years ago, uh, strategically, we decided that we wanted to get into other elements of the, of the power sector. Um, we, did a, we did a strategic study um, and part of Murray and Roberts' um, aspirations is, to, is, to, is, to, is growth through acquisition. So we decided about two years ago that we wanted to acquire a transmission, distribution and a substation business. Um, so we set a certain criteria and we engaged with companies um, and we did some JV work with OptiPower projects. Um, we liked OptiPower projects, OptiPower projects like Murray and Roberts. Um, so we did that transaction with them. Um, we got Competitions Commission approval around about June this year um, and the transaction was finalised in August. So as of the 1st of September, uh, OptiPower is, uh, is a wholly owned subsidiary of Murray and Roberts Limited. So we're, we're really pleased with that. Harrison explains how the acquisition will benefit OptiPower for the project and beyond. 
OptiPower already had the wind power project, um, so well, obviously Murray and Roberts will provide more support to them in that regard to, to complete this, but they already did already secured that project. I think the opportunity for OptiPower and Murray and Roberts is, um, is widening OptiPower's scope with newer projects, larger projects um, in South Africa and also outside of South Africa. So we're obviously we're very interested. Historically, OptiPower have done a lot of work with ESCOM on ESCOM's transmission build. Uh, we're bidding a lot of work now into ESCOM. Uh, and there's obviously a lot of uh, a lot of IPP work that's on the go as well, wind farms, PV farms. So um, so we think from that point of view, we'll we'll provide you know our Murray and Roberts brand, our capability, our balance sheet to to assist Opti Power in growing. Uh, I think importantly for us as well, outside of South Africa, we're currently engaged in bidding projects uh, with Opti Power uh, in Angola, Mozambique, Botswana. Uh, and Namibia as well. So from Murray and Roberts perspective um, we'd obviously like to see OptiPower grow beyond the borders of, of South Africa uh, and I think we can also bring uh, the ability to, to finance projects as Murray and Roberts as well. We've got a strong balance sheet um, so EPC type projects now for OptiPower with financing options as well in sub-Saharan Africa so that's where we see some real growth for the OptiPower business and we're, and we're pretty excited about that. OptiPower CEO and founder Andre Swart elaborates on the significance of the acquisition for OptiPower. Now, OptiPower was started in 1999. Um, we were very few companies in the T&D section and we took that opportunity, uh, provided services in that industry. We've grown two decades on, probably into one of the most uh, um, operating uh, possible uh, construction companies in the T&D sector and um, it's strengthened hugely with the Murray and Roberts acquirement. Uh, makes us uh, very resilient to the, the economy and um, projects that's in the new RP and uh, the, in the new re renewable energy build, uh, we position well for that. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next year for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.